će nas no, tako uopšte da započnemo da radimo mrežni marketing i kako sami da dobijemo samopouzdanje u sve ono što radimo, zato još uvek nismo krenuli, zovite sve svoje ljude, jer verujte mi onako od srca želimo svima vama da pomognemo, želimo svi vi da postignete te rankove koje i mi imamo, tako da ono mnogo bi bila lepša na planeta naša zemlja, da nas je više, više čermena, tako da idemo svi u, onako, u čatu našem, pišite u grupnom, zovite ljude da se uključe, zovite ljude da dođu, znači ne žele ovo da propuste. Kao što ste vidjeli, danas sam podelila poruku uh, od mog mentora, sada kog imam, i ono što želim da kažem, sve što poželite, možete i da ostvarite. Znači, samo čistim srcem možete stići do cilja koji želite. Naravno, naš gost ništa ne razume sa što ja trenutno pričam. Kaže, šta je ovoj Tijani? Čemu ona priča? Tako da, ona, molim vas, upalite kamere. Znači, to je jedno poštovanje prema našem gostu da nas sve vidi, da nas sve upozna, jer jednog dana ćete svi vi biti sa njim zajedno na steđu, zajedno na bini i delit ćete vrednosti kao što sada i mi delimo sa vama. Ono što vas molim je u komentaru sada svi upišete Červen 50 jer je on to, on je naš Červen 50 e, i sad moram da krenem ono malo na engleskom jeziku, jer da, bi bilo redno da kažem nešto na engleskom jeziku, je? Okay, Malaka, my brother, are you there? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, Mr. I said to the team, I'm so happy again for, for having you here and I can't wait to hear you what you prepared for the, my team. Thank you so much for the, your time and my bro, let's go! Let's, <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. The first thing I want to do is give it back to Miss Tiana. Uh, I'm so proud of you. You know, I can honestly tell you guys this in this business. It is not what you get started with. Okay, it's who you get started with in business. I'm going to say that one more time. It's not what you get started with. It's who you get started with in business and what it is that I've seen Tiana do. I mean, even being on a different time zone. I know you guys are, I believe, in Serbia. You know, I, I see her on every single system call. She's always plugging in and always in the chats, always excited always fired up, always giving more value to other people. And I want to let you guys know that's the kind of leader that you want to follow, right? Somebody with that level of hunger, that level of tenacity that she's not going to let anything stop her. I mean, she's like a, a firecracker, you know, in a good way. You know, I say that because, you know, to have that level of hunger, um, it's, it's, it's inspiring. You know, it is something that, you know, have you ever met somebody that when you get in their presence, you seem to be more inspired? You seem to more uh, uh, be more excited. You seem to be more lit up. That is the kind of leader that I see Tiana to be. So I want to say I appreciate you. I want to congratulate you in advance on P5000 and even Chairwoman Dunn. I see the work being done. Uh, would you mind hosting me? If you can host me, I can go ahead and start sharing my slides and giving you guys some information. But I'll tell you guys what, you know, I want you to actually get rid of the take some notes. I'm going to just give you guys a heart to heart today. I'm going to be able to give you a little bit more information that has been able to help me across my journey. Uh, if you're ready, can I get everybody in the chat type in a seven, a seven and a seven? Just go ahead and type a seven, seven, seven in the chat box if you guys are ready. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm fired up. I couldn't be more fired up to be speaking with you guys today. I'm going to give you some tips for beginners in network marketing. Yeah, I'm going to give you some, some, some networking tips for beginners. Okay, so again, I'm not going to be very long with you guys here on today, but I am going to be on purpose and everything that I say, I'm going to say for a reason. Okay, now I've got information for all of you at different levels. Okay, number one is how to start building online. How many guys want to have an incredible business online? Yes or yes? Type the answer in the chat box. How, how many guys want to have an incredible business online? Uh, one of the best things that I can tell you in this aspect, guys, is going to be being consistent. Okay is being consistent. I would tell you that when it comes to being, uh, you know, uh, building online, it's gonna be important to be consistent. What do I mean? Posting. So write this stuff down. It's not on the slide, but I want you to take notes on it. Number one, you wanna make sure that you are posting consistently, okay? Why do I say this? Consistency is one of the easiest ways to be able to express to people, hey, I am a leader, right? Somebody in the chat has probably had this question before. Let me ask you guys, have you ever asked yourself, how do I attract leaders into my business? 
who's asked themselves this question, right? Type, type yes or no in a chat box. Have you ever asked yourself the question, how do I attract leaders into my business? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the quickest way, okay, for you to attract a leader is to become a leader, right? How do you display that you are a leader? Well, number one, you are displaying what it is that people uh, want, okay? Leadership is just influence. And the way that you gain influence over people is by showing what it is that they want. If you see somebody with a nice lifestyle, right? How many guys say, wow, I want to live that same lifestyle. If you see somebody who is very wise and you know, wise beyond the years, they understand what it is that they're talking about. They're an expert. They're sharp as a tack. Okay, I'm pretty sure that you guys are you know, fired up to want to know how that person is doing that. You probably aspire to be more like that person. You want to be the person online okay, that people are looking at and they say, hey, I want to be like her. right? I want to be like him. OK, so I want you guys to focus on on positioning yourself as an authority figure. OK, so I say consistency, posting on your stories seven to ten times a day, whether that's repost, whether that's unique content, whether that's you just talking, put yourself out there so that every time people refresh, they see you. OK, every time people refresh, you're right in front of their face. OK, let me tell you something. Every time that you are consistent, ladies and gentlemen, you are following up. Did you know that? Okay. So if you're prospecting every single day, if you're going out there showing the plan, if you're going out there and amassing a network, one of the ways that you follow up with them is by actually being consistent. It tells them, hey, she's doing exactly what it is that she said she was going to do. Hey, he is doing exactly what it is that he said he was going to do. Okay. So somebody type that word for me in a chat box, consistency, consistency, consistency. Okay. In addition to this, right? I don't want you to miss this. Okay. Document. Don't create. Document. Don't create. Too many people are focused on, hey, I'm going to create something. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to get into the place where, you know, you're fabricating a lifestyle that's not real. You don't want to get into the place where you're fabricating and manufacturing, uh, you know, a lifestyle that is, that is, you know, simply fake. You don't want to fake it until you make it, faith it until you make it, okay? So you can manifest, yes, but don't be the person who, you know, is, is pretending. Don't be the person who is, uh, you know, perpetrating, okay? You want to be the person that inspires people because of your growth, right? Does this make sense? If you're with me, type a 777 in the chat box. So we've, we've said consistency, posting seven to 10 times a day document, don't create, okay? That means uh, document and show what it is that you're doing each and every single day. If you're going to a company convention, guys, you should be literally, I mean, it, it's got to be every other minute you're recording something, every other moment, okay, you are actually uh, showing the process. You're showing the people walking across the stage. You're going live when your mentor is speaking, okay? You, you are showing what it is that you're learning, but it's important to keep a balance. You don't want to show Zoom call, Zoom call, Zoom call, meeting, meeting, meeting. That is awesome. But the truth is this. If you only show the work, people are going to think, oh, wow, do I have to work all the time? Is it just Zoom calls from sun up to sundown? Okay, so show a little bit of the, the work, show a little bit of the grind, a little bit of the process, but also show a little bit of the lifestyle. Now, I didn't say fake and you know flex like you have what it is that you don't. But if you're at the beach, take a nice picture at the beach right? You guys can go downtown and bring a camera with you. iPhone is a great camera, okay? It doesn't matter where the camera comes from. Just take a clean, nice picture, wipe the camera off a little bit, make sure the clarity is there, okay? Learn how to edit. Guys, I had to learn how to literally edit for my social media, okay? I could pay somebody else to do it, but I said, if I'm going to do this every day, why not just learn how to actually do it myself, okay? Learn how to edit. Snapseed, guys. Snapseed, is an incredible app that I use to be able to edit photos. Okay, in addition to that, Canva is a really good app to be able to start producing con uh, content on social media. Okay, again, I'm gonna say it slowly. Snapseed, Canva, okay, iMovie, right? Okay, iMovie is another incredible uh, app that you guys can actually use that I love to actually edit videos. Okay, in addition to that, right? You guys want to make sure, 
again, that you're showing up, showing up, showing up, showing up no matter what. Most people, let me tell you what they do in this business. They get fired up, they get excited, and they're there and they're like they're just on, on fire for a week. And then they disappear for another week. Then they disappear for a month. What happens when you do that, ladies and gentlemen, is you lose credibility, right? Because it looks to people as if you are not actually, it looks to people as if you're spotty. And, and it looks to people as if you are here today and gone tomorrow. Write this down. People follow strength and not weakness. People follow strength and not weakness. Okay. So again, guys, I don't want you to think that you have to have 10,000 followers. That's not true. I don't want you to think that you have to get a hundred comments and a hundred likes on every post. It's not true. But if you can be consistent, if you can show up, Okay, that's going to help you. Now, that is only part one of uh, building online. Part two, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the prospecting efforts. I personally prospect every single day. Okay, somebody type DMOs in the chat box. Somebody type DMOs in the chat box. Okay, somebody type DMOs. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that DMOs stand for daily method of operation, daily method of operation, okay? So, you know, the question that I ask every single day, and you can, I'm going to say it probably two times, okay? I ask people every single day, outside of what it is that you're doing, are you open to any new income streams, Okay. Now, how you do this? Well, I mean, lots of people do it differently, but I can tell you from myself what I do, I'll reach out to somebody on social media. I'm searching by location. So if you're building in a specific place in Serbia, then look for that specific place, okay? Why am I doing that? Because I'm looking to build a marketplace. I'm looking to build in a, in a, in a very specific um, location. I, I'm trying to build uh, traction. So I search by places. I find people in the city. Somebody says, well, where do I look in the city? You can look at the city itself. You can look at gyms in the city. You can look at restaurants in the city. You can look at clubs in the city. You can look at anywhere in the city. And when you find this location, right? And um, everybody know what I'm talking about. You get on Instagram and search by location. Okay, once you get there, once I see a nice profile, somebody I might wanna have in my business, Okay, I am sending them a message. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm my name is Malachi. I'm an entrepreneur from Northern California. I see your Instagram profile. I'll tell you, I think you do an incredible job branding yourself, putting yourself out on social media. I was curious to ask you if you're open to any other ways of creating income online. Definitely let me know if so. If not, hey, we should definitely network and connect anyways. Okay, so I hope you heard me on that. Different people do it differently, but this is what it is that I do. Do I type that message out? I personally don't because if I type that out, it would be like a book, <laughs> okay? Not only would it be super long, but it's not very personable. When you send a video, when you hold your phone up and you do this, you are allowing people to feel connected to you, okay? You're allowing people to know that you're authentic. Some of you may have seen the fake pages. Yes, you've seen the fake pages. There's fake pages of me. There's fake pages of, of, of I I'm, wouldn't be surprised if some of you have fake pages of people impersonating you, okay? And they go out there and they reach out to people and they send them these copy and paste messages, okay? What am I trying to tell you? You want to separate yourself, okay? Separate yourself by sending a video, being personable. Oh my goodness, he or she is a real person, Okay. Who's with me? Yes or yes. Who's with me? Yes or yes. Okay. Let me know something. Let me see what's going on here in the chat box. Is Anna with me? I see Austin's with me on the call. David, uh, Danilo. Uh, is it Dijon? I see Ivan. Okay. Juliana, uh, Katarina. Okay. I see all of you guys on the call. Who's with me? Type a yes or yes. Okay. We're going to keep this. Uh, in addition, right, uh, I'll give you this. I told you about posting and creating a brand, branding yourself, being consistent, posting every single day, document, don't create, okay? I told you to be consistent, 
I told you every time you're posting, you're following up with, with, with your prospects who are watching you, okay? Be yourself, post about things you like. If you like to dance, post a dancing video. See how you can integrate that with uh, your business, okay? People are doing a lot of that on Reels. Get creative, right? Share something that you speak, guys, show your face. There was a point in my career I said, wow, I feel like I'm growing a lot and people don't know it until they join my business. That means I'm gonna attract low quality people. And then once they get in, they'll figure out, wow, he's a high quality person. I said, let me reverse engineer that. Let me show them, yes, I am the leader you wanna follow. Yes, I am a high quality person. And I had to figure out a way to translate that through social media. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Snapchat, every single platform that you have your hands on is a way to express value, a way to be able to create compel to people, okay? So I told you how to collect a decision. Ask people every day, are you open to other ways of making money? I told you how to ask the question, okay? And from there, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have your own system. You guys have got incredible leadership, right? You guys have got phenomenal leadership, okay? So plug into your leadership and ask them how, right? To actually take it from there. You guys probably have a 15, 10 minute video that you send, a sizzle video, right? Connect them on a three-way call with Miss Tiana here. Okay, uh, uh, get them connected on one of the webinars that take place daily. But who feels a lot more confident about building online? Who, who got some value so far? Okay, top of 777 and I will move forward. Okay, not gonna keep you guys super long. Got a couple more things I wanna hit. Now, how to build confidence. So ladies and gentlemen, you can't see the little photo on the screen, but I'm gonna read it to you, okay? And it's called the self-confidence formula, okay? So, so who's seen this before, by the way? Anybody seen this? Okay, it's called the self-confidence formula. It's called Think, uh, it's from Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, uh, by Napoleon Hill. I'm gonna read this to you guys. Now, there's several ways to build confidence, but one that has really, really helped me, and I highly recommend every single one of you, start to use your words, ladies and gentlemen. Your words control and dictate your belief. What you're speaking every day, what you're, what you're listening to, this actually has a lot to do with your belief level, okay? I promise you, you say this out loud, ladies and gentlemen, your belief will go through the roof. Auto suggestion, ladies and gentlemen, belief does not come from the truth. Let me say it again slowly. Belief doesn't come from the truth, guys. Okay? Belief comes from auto suggestion. It comes from what you're hearing again and again and again and again and again and again. Ultimately, you believe what it is that you hear the most, okay? So give you guys an example. Everybody uh, on this call, you have a name. And I want you to imagine, I see Lorena's on the call. So if Lorena's on the call, when she was a child, guys, her parents said, Lorena. And when she was a baby, she probably didn't answer. And they said, Lorena, okay? She, Six months in, probably maybe didn't answer. Ladies and gentlemen, the longer they said, Lorena, Lorena, Lorena. One day she turned around and said, yes. <laughs> maybe she didn't say yes. <laughs> maybe it's a baby noise. But the fact of the matter is this. Why does she know that her name is Lorena? I can say, hey, what's up, Sarah? And she's going to be like, who? And I'm going to be like, your name is Sarah. And she's like, no, it's not Sarah. It's Lorena. Why does she believe that? Because she heard it again, and she heard it again, and she heard it again, and she heard it again. Maybe the reason you don't have what it is that you want, you're not as confident as you believe that you, you, you should be, is because you haven't heard it enough. It's because you have not heard it enough. Faith comes by hearing. Okay, so I'm going to read this to you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, step one of the self-confidence formula. I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, continuous action towards its attainment. And I here and now promise to render such action. I realize that the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become, thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture of that person. I know that through the principle of auto-suggestion, okay, any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object 
back of it. Therefore, I will devote 10 minutes daily to demanding of myself the development of self-confidence. I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim in life, and I will never stop trying until I have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. I will succeed by attracting people to my, by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use in the cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve them, okay? I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them and in myself. I will sign my name to this formula, commit to the memory, and repeat it aloud once a day with full faith that it will gradually influence my thoughts and actions so that I will become a self-reliant and successful person. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you were listening. I can honestly move on from confidence. I can honestly move on from confidence, okay? Confidence, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't come from compliments. It comes from accomplishments. Accomplishments being what it is that you're doing daily, what it is that you're saying to yourself, what it is that you're hearing again and again. Uh, uh, every time you keep your word to yourself, okay, you are putting another drop in the confidence bucket. Let me say it again. Every time you keep your word to yourself, you're putting another drop in the confidence bucket. But if you don't do what you said you were going to do, if you don't keep your word, if you don't uh, stay committed, well, yeah, you're going to break down your confidence because now you don't even trust yourself. Okay. How, how many guys are understanding confidence a little bit better? I, I gave you some different angles on confidence. Okay. I gave you some different angles on confidence. Right. And there's more. Honestly, there's more. Okay. But I'm just going to leave it there. Moving forward, what is important in network marketing? Well, let's talk about it. So network marketing, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is getting a lot of people to do a little bit over an extended period of time. I'm going to say it again. Network marketing and success within it is getting a lot of people to do a little bit over an extended period of time. 5% of the people in your organization will control about 95% of the group volume. 95% of the people will control about 5% of the group volume. Not everybody's gonna be a runner, not everybody's gonna be a leader, and you shouldn't force people to be such, okay? You want to create a culture, right, where the 95% of people can actually win. That's why I love this particular company. People can make money without actually building a network. People can actually make money without expanding and actually talking to anyone. So appeal to those people. Focus on creating an uh, awesome environment and culture for those people. Make sure that there's customer satisfaction. People are able to experience results with the product. Bake that into the culture that people are winning with the services. That's going to be your retention. But at the same time, your customers are not going to be the people that actually go out there and expand the organization. Belief and leadership, ladies and gentlemen, are the two most important things in this business. Belief and leadership. You must learn how to believe. You must learn how to believe. You must learn how to believe. There is no right or wrong, only thinking that makes it so. Say it again slowly. There is no right or wrong, only thinking that makes it so, folks. This means if you think the world is coming down around you, then it will. This means if you think that your business is, is going to trash, then it will. If you think that you're moving backwards, then you will. But if you can figure out how to believe, if you can figure out where belief comes from, if you can figure out uh, you know, how to actually increase your belief, then you're going to increase your action and you're going to increase your results. And that's going to create what? More belief, which increases what? More action, which what? Increases more results. And it's a cycle. It's called the success cycle. Okay. You must learn how to believe and you must uh, believe and you must learn how to uh, develop leaders, ladies and gentlemen, leaders, leaders drive the business leaders, you must have leaders, but how do you have leaders you must become one yourself. Have you made a decision to go pro. 
Do you know what it means to be a professional in this business? Do you know the skill sets of a professional? How many people have you taught those same skill sets? How to deal with fear? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something and you should never forget it. Let me tell you something and you should never forget it. Okay. I want you to understand that courage is not the absence of fear, it's the mastery of it. Courage, ladies and gentlemen, is not the absence of fear, it is the mastery of it. Okay. I don't want to deal with anybody. You know, I don't even want to necessarily hear from anyone who says they don't have any fears because it's not realistic. Like it's not relatable, it's not realistic. Ladies and gentlemen, I have fears. But you know what? Courage is the mastery of fear, not the absence of it. Okay, so, so watch this. If you know, right, that there's going to be fear, it is gonna be up to you to develop your understanding of what it is is taking place. You gotta understand that everything you want in life is really on the other side of fear. You gotta understand that fear is really just false evidence appearing real. I said false evidence appearing real. It's not real. Fear is not, it's not, it comes from things that are not even real. And if you focus so much on the fear, it's going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy because you focused on it and you gave your mind to it. You gave your energy to it. And now all of a sudden, guess what? Whatever you were afraid of most, it happened. Okay. But if you can concentrate your thoughts daily, on what it is that you want, then you can keep the right words flowing through your ears, okay? And you can speak the right words out of your mouth and you can hang around the right people that elevate you and grow you. Ladies and gentlemen, if your circle does not inspire you to grow, if your circle doesn't make you wanna go out there and, and, and become the better version of yourself, the best version of yourself, you don't have a circle, you have a cage. <laughs> okay so so you want to make certain ladies and gentlemen that the people around you right are conducive to what it is that you're trying to accomplish okay fear will never go away it'll never get easier but you will get better and as you get better and as you get stronger and you start to build that confidence you're going to see that everything you want, ladies and gentlemen, is not only realistic, but it's actually already done. It's actually already done. Everything that you want, it's actually already done. But you've got to focus. You've got to grow every single day. You've got to develop yourself every single day. You've got to make a decision to get married to the process. Trust the process. Fall in love with the process. And begin with the end in mind. They'll say, hey, I got this going on. Uh, at the end, I got the lifestyle that I want. I got the dreams. I've, I've helped all of these people. I've become financially free. Okay. I wake up when I'm done sleeping. I've got six Saturdays and one Sunday. I do what I want, when I want, with who I want. It's done. And if you can focus that image, that picture in your mind, well, ladies and gentlemen, if you know why, the how is easy. If you know why, you can conquer and survive any how there is. That, that's all I have for you guys today. What it is that I want to do next is go ahead and give it back to Miss Tiana in case she has anything to add before uh, we wrap up. But again, uh, Tiana, I want to say I appreciate you so much. You know, I, I have so much respect for your leadership and what it is that you've been able to create. Um, you know, you bring so much energy, passion every single day to the team of the chats, whether it's just your team or it's the bigger team, you're truly a selfless leader. And, um, I can say all of you are definitely privileged, you know, they're privileged to have a leader like yourself. So Tiana, I'll get, go ahead and give it back to you and I will see you guys on the next one and I will host you as well.
I can unmute myself. Thank you so much. Thank you for this training. This training for me is be amazing. And thank you. I'm so happy, grateful for you. Ekipa, nadam se da ste onako sve zapisali, da ste uzeli note se dobro. Znači šta je jako bitno? Steći samopoznanje u sebe. Zapamtiti da strah ne postoji. Znači strah je nešto što mi sami kreiramo da postoji. Biti stalno konstantan, znači graditi svoju mrežu konstantno, objavljivati, stavljati postove, snimati video snimke, poslati video snimak ljudima da čuju i da vas stvarno vide. Ono što ćemo sutra raditi na društvenim mrežama će biti stvarno ludo i znam da ne želite da propustite sve to što sam vam sutra spremila. Tako da, ono, ekipa od velikog srca, hvala svima koji ste bili večeras ovde. Hvala vam što ste odvojili svoje vreme. I ono, želimo da svi budete onak čermeni do kraja godine, pa put puklo da pukne. Nek samo Srbija ima čermene, nisim bivša juga. Tako da idemo svi. Let's go! Ćao ekipa i laku noć, lepo spavajte. Ljubim vas.